All right, folks, welcome back. Sorry, we had some technical difficulty. Welcome back to the 44th Luxury Lunch and Learn. I'm really excited about today's guest. We're going to be talking about training and we're going to be talking about uh, helping agents keep their confidence up when there's so many uncertainties going on. I'm your host, Michael Lafito. Uh, we also, are, I'm the host of the Luxury luxury lunch and learn this is the 44th episode but i'm also the host of the luxury specialist luxury listing specialist podcast so again michael lafito here let's get right into today's guest uh, who's the vp of marketing for century 21 canada we have shayoko kakino with us today century 21 canada how are you today i'm good thank you michael <laughs> all right i know you're laughing because we've had so much technology <laughs> issues today I call them gremlins. We had some uh, some gremlins in our uh, Facebook live stream, so but we got it figured out. So thank you so much for being patient. No problem. It's it's Friday, so it's always a good day. And you know you have to just roll with the punches when it comes to technology. Yeah, that's a great outlook, and and you, you have to because you got no other option. So uh, so first off, um, talk to me a little bit about your role at Century Twenty One to give the listeners uh, a little bit better idea of who you are and what your role is at Century 21 Canada. Sure, thanks for, for asking that. So I joined Century 21 Canada about five years ago. My background isn't in real estate, it is in franchise marketing and I have over 25 years experience in strategic planning, concept development and what I call local marketing. Um, and my experience is really in the hospitality industry. I worked for both national and international um, restaurant chains. I also ran a um, cosmetic aesthetics company for one of the dragons if you watch. I don't know if you, I know you have Shark Tank down there down there in the yes. States but in Canada we have something that's called Dragon's Den. So Jim okay. Terliving he is one of the dragons on Dragon's Den. Um, he bought a cosmetic aesthetics company and I worked for him for a period of time to grow and to evolve that concept. And then I got approached by Century 21 Canada five years ago. And, you know, real estate in Canada, you know, speci specifically because I'm in the Vancouver market, is the talk of the town. Like every party you go to, and of course, we're not going to parties anymore, but any dinners or anything, people are talking about real estate. And so when Century 21 Canada, you know, contacted me, I'm like, wow, you know, real estate's super exciting because it's really providing people, you know, their dream home, right? And so I love the emotional connection. I love that Century 21 had been around for 40 years. There's just so many reasons why I want to get into this industry, but I had no experience. So I didn't know if I had a lot of chance of getting the position, but sure enough, I did. And it's just been amazing. The culture at Century 21, you know, I've worked for a number of family businesses and, you know, Century 21 is owned by a family here in Vancouver called the Charwood um, family. And the feeling that you get with Century 21, we have 10,000 agents coast to coast. The feeling that you get from them is like we are all a family. And it's just, it's just been amazing, you know, experience for me over the last five years. That's awesome. I appreciate the story and that's great. And I, and I have news for you, not just in Vancouver, but in the Chicagoland market or when I travel or when I have guests on internationally, real estate is a topic that people love talking about. It's, it's exciting. People, you know, love looking at homes. You know, I tell people we're kind of in the Tinder industry in real estate where people swipe left and right, but they're looking at on, on third party websites, realtor.com, you know, realtor, uh, w whatever it might be. And so real estate is exciting. The, of course, our cor course is, uh, that we're teaching is called Luxury Listing Specialist as a designation, but our classes are all about helping agents with training and their mindset and giving them tools and resources, which is a perfect segue into kind of what you, you and as Century 21 Canada have been doing during the pandemic to, to keep agents positive, to, to keep agents you know, having the proper tools to be successful. Um, so you, again, you're not a licensed agent, so we're not gonna really focus on this, on this uh, uh, episode uh, on a hey, best practices from agents, but we're gonna talk about, hey, what, what is Century 21 Canada doing to make sure that agents are on top of their game, are staying positive, so that if they do get an opportunity to work with a buyer or seller, they're prepared, they know how to adapt, they know you know, certain rules and regulations that maybe weren't 
pre-COVID in place, but now are. So let's talk a little bit about that, if you don't mind. That would be that would be great, and I can give you a little bit of, you know, the history of what has happened here in Canada over the last six months, um, because you know might have been different um, down there in the states. Um, but just to start off, let's just start off by giving you a little bit of history of what happened here in Canada. So very quickly, um, if we go back to March, very quickly, we the whole country was in lockdown. I, I swear it was a matter of three days from coast to coast and our country's big. <laughs> Not a lot of people, but it's big. And um, so we were in lockdown quite quickly, um, probably Monday, March 16th, all everything was shut down um, across the country. And it, that's really tough specifically for the real estate industry because number one, it's not like you're getting a salary if you're at home doing nothing like some of us you know we're getting and we we're continuing to work but um it was just you know agents and realtors are so social right they're so used to having those connections being in front of their clients talking to them face to face like being there and i think it was very hard for them to all of a sudden and now being locked down in their homes um, so in saying that you know at century 21 canada we took the proactive approach in making like basically you know providing agents with education but at the same time providing them with like an online support community right because again it was so uncertain here not only to their careers but also to the health and safety of all of us and so you know during that uncertainty that's when you want to call on your c21 family right if any time you want your family you want that support and you want that network support it's really during times of uncertainty. Um, and so we did at that time started within seven days, we had daily webinars that were taking place. Um, we did it through our Century 21 Canada Facebook page. We had industry leaders that just jumped up and started to help us. And it was just, it was such an amazing feel in the industry that everybody was coming together. And again, we opened this up to not just our Century 21 agents, but everyone in the industry, because we were all in this together, right? This is a time to rally in the rest, in the uh, real estate industry, and um, you know, and we did this. So it was just, it was so great. Everyone had a place to go. We did it at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Everybody, you know, could go and they could watch the training and they could chat with their fellow fellow colleagues from coast to coast. It was just a really, really nice feeling. Um, it was a big initiative for the company to take on because we hadn't. We at best do maybe a webinar every two weeks. So, you know, to take on a webinar every single day was very daunting. Um, you know, it was pushing us outside our comfort zone, but it was worth it to make sure that, you know, the realtors felt supported and to make sure that we're providing them the education and the knowledge that they needed in order to feel like they could adapt to what was going on. Yeah, that's, I mean, I mean, adapting is, is, is key, right? I mean, uh, change, there's always change, but change happened so rapidly, you know, uh, since March in our industry. Uh, so adapting, training, tools, resources, uh, that's really important. Um, and so talk to me about here we are in October and you know, from your personal, just not as an agent, but just what you're seeing in the Vancouver area, as well as just throughout Century 21, uh, you know, are, are people still buying, selling homes? And is this typically a slower time of year for you in Canada? Because in the, in the States, in many major markets, you know, the fall, call it October through December, is, is probably the slowest season, if you will, because school started, you know, the holidays are coming up. Um, but we're still seeing a strong market because rates are great and, and COVID threw everything off. Uh, talk to me about what you're seeing just, you know, as a, you know, observer of real estate, um, as well as just talking through agents through maybe your trainings. Sure. So um, it has been a crazy hot market here in Canada. Um, it was extremely like again everything got shut down in march april we started to see it come back in may june and full out in june all of our realtors were going full out and they have not stopped since that time so you know our typical spring market was pushed into summer um if you look at you know the overall um you know in, you know what's happening in canada for overall home sales at the end of august we finally caught up to where we were last year right and this is with two months of probably hardly any sales. 
So you can just see how much activity there has been in the marketplace. Uh, when I just looked at the Korea stats and I just looked for the end of August because of course it's October 2nd, so the September results hasn't, haven't come out yet. Um, but we have seen national home sales increase 6.2% month over month. Uh, you know, even though those sales are up in 60% of the markets, we are seeing the most gains in the lower mainland, which is Vancouver and the surrounding areas where I live, um, as well as the GTA, which is the greater Toronto area. Um, we've also seen actual sales activity up 33.5% year over year. So if you take August last year, which as you say, Michael, it, you know, it's summertime, especially August, because people are taking their vacation and they're wanting to get all that in before kids go back to school. It's typically a slower period for us. And then we start, you know, September, we start gaining momentum into October and November. Um, you know, it's, it's been, been crazy. So 33.5% um, year over year increase. It is the highest record for August um, from a national standpoint. And it is the sixth highest month ever recorded uh, in history. So it's just, it's been absolutely crazy. Um, the challenge here in Canada is that the inventory is very low. So we only have an average on a national basis of 2.6 months of inventory. Um, so things, again, there's multiple offers. I was talking to one agent and they said they had 17 offers in on a place. Um, I saw another one of our C21 agents um, that just posted on social media last night. You know, he just sold a place that was over $100,000 than the asking price. So Jeez. as you can see, there's, there's just so much activity. There, you know, our realtors are so busy, uh, which is great because, again, there was so much uncertainty with regards to, you know, meeting their goals. And again, again on social media, because I do, you know, I'm in contact with a lot of our realtors through social media, but someone even posted that they earned their goal as, as of August, uh, sorry, October 1st, they own their goal, their sales go, they already met it and they still oh had goodness. a few months. So, so it's, it's, been, it's been great here that it's been busy, um, you know, challenging, I'm sure, for buyers, but, um, you know, good for the industry and that we're seeing that, uh, that come back. No, oh, that's great. That's really good information. And so less than three months of inventory, uh, and for those of you that are watching this, uh, this replay, you know, when there's four or less months of inventory, we call that a buyer's market. Five or six months is kind of a neutral market or a balanced market. And when there's, when there's seven months or more, we call that, uh, okay, I, I, I said that wrong, excuse me. When there's four months or less, that's what we call a seller's market. So you guys have under three months. When there's five or six months, that's a neutral or balanced market. And when there's seven months or more, we call that a buyer's market. So in many markets, uh, the upper end and the luxury, again, for our, our lux designation, we define upper end or high end homes. We call it high end homes as homes that are two times the average sale price. And we define luxury homes as three times the average sale price for that given market, for any given market. So in most markets, the high end and the luxury has been a buyer's market for years in many, many markets. In Chicagoland, the million dollar plus market has been a buyer's market for over 10 years. Well, COVID's changed that. It's more of a neutral market right now, which doesn't mean it's a hot seller's market, but it's 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 trending better than it has in 10 plus years. So uh, that's some interesting data you shared. So Vancouver and, and, and the GTA, which is the greater T Toronto area, are those typically, um, the markets where there's most activity, you know, in Canada? Yes, yeah, so it, it has been the areas that have seen the most, um, you know, increase with regards to the increase in, in average price um, sales and the average price of a house. Um, you know, again, everybody during that March, April, it didn't matter if you were in Vancouver or <laughs> Toronto or anywhere else in the country, there was just like very minimal activity happening. Um, but again, a lot of the the the, um, the increases that we're seeing specifically in August are coming from specifically faster gains from the GTA and the lower mainland here in Vancouver. Um, wow. And even though inventory, as I mentioned, inventory has been low, it has, um, it's starting to pick up. So inventory is starting to increase 
here in Vancouver and also in Toronto. Um, you know, we have been dealt with, I'm sure you have as well down in the States, is the second wave of COVID coming in. And it is impacting, you know, some of the main markets. Um, Vancouver, we're seeing, you know, increases again, um, not substantially compared to the rest of the country or specifically the U.S., but Toronto is seeing that. So is Montreal. Montreal is a really good, great market for us. They've seen, we've seen increases in Montreal too. Um, so we are seeing increases again, which is just making everyone crack down a little bit more, making sure all of their safety protocols are in place, making sure they're keeping their clients safe, making, you know, making sure our brokers are keeping their agents safe. Um, but we're seeing a little bit of trend. So it's going to be interesting in what's going to happen over the next uh, couple months. Um, you know, with kids back in school here and, you know, and numbers continuing to increase. But uh, I think everyone will just kind of, you know, lock, not lock themselves, but everyone will just take a little bit of a, um, you know, just be a little bit more <laughs> careful about, you know, where they're going, if they have to do that or not. Um, and again, agents might have to start to go back because they were using open houses and I know that they put safety protocol in place, but they might have to go back to doing, you know, Facebook Live open houses. Um, you know, we introduced a new exclusive platform called C21 Virtual Tours. Uh, we launched that in June. So now agents, C21 agents can do virtual tours. So, you know, we were doing that and then everybody got active again. We all felt comfortable and it was summertime and, you know, everyone kind of gets back to their to their routines, of course, making sure those safety protocols are in place, but we just have to might turn to, to some of those um, tools that we introduced kind of in the late spring. That's a great reminder, right? I mean, uh, you know, there's a tendency to, to be laxed after a while. You get desensitized to, you know, wearing a mask, washing your hands, social distancing. Um, you know, here, uh, our, uh, you know, a lot of companies have policies in place where if somebody wants to see a home, uh, the buyer and their agent have to fill out a COVID-19 disclosure stating that they're not, uh, to their knowledge, been exposed, they haven't been traveling, etc. cetera. Um, you know, many agents are, uh, even in some of the average price properties where there's, you know, lock boxes and listing agent isn't accompanying the showing, you know, many agents are uh, making sure the lights are on, uh, you know, doors are open so that there's minimal touching during a showing, you know, so that this way the buyer comes, they don't have to put switches on or off, um, you know, so there, there's some things that we can continue to do. Um, so that's, uh, that's really great uh, information. A anything exciting happening over at Century 21 moving forward, uh, you know, end of the year initiatives or uh, 2021? I know it's so hard to plan anything because, you know, you can't rely on a set date today because, you know, if, for example, I know a lot of big, you know, annual conferences that I've gone to, you know, they've, of course, everything's canceled, you know, really till many people, not even first quarter of 2021. Yes, and we were supposed to actually have a in-person conference in St. John's, Newfoundland um, at the beginning of October, which of course we had to cancel and postpone. So we are planning to, of course, you know, our intention is to go back there um, sometime in the fall of next year. Um, but it was really too bad because the Newfoundland folks, you know, they have been rallying for years to have the conference. Um, in their town and you know and so we decided it at last conference and everyone was super excited and then unfortunately you know we had to we had to do that but you know we are doing we're continuing to do exciting things so again you know we provide um, now we're not doing daily webinars because the agents are super busy but we're still providing live training so in September we launched what we call Campus 21 TV. So Campus 21 TV provides realtors live and on-demand training. And it's sort of Netflix style. So it's like the Netflix of real estate. Um, on the live side, and anybody can go to campus21.tv, but on the live side, you can watch um, live webinars that take place now every Monday, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. We have industry speakers. This Monday, we actually have Jen Herman. She's a globally recognized Instagram expert. So she's going to be talking about marketing to the generations because there's so many generations out there and they all interact differently online. So she's going to talk about how you can define your target audience and how you can make sure that you're creating content 
that maximizes, you know, engage with, with, you know, the various generations. So we do that every week. And again, the industry is open to joining us during those live sessions. And those live sessions are recorded and then put underneath there if you go to Campus 21 and, and go to the live platform. And then we also have a exclusive on-demand platform that's available just to C21ers that provides them everything they need. So all the webinars that we did over the summertime, which was over a hundred webinars, they're all um, in this platform that people can stream on demand. They can learn about social media. They can learn about, you know, doing Facebook lives if they haven't. They can learn about how to use Zoom if they haven't, which I'm sure people have now. Um, but one of the great things with Century 21 is we were really set up well going into this pandemic. So we provided our realtors everything that they needed to be, you know, successful. We provided them strategic partnerships, you know, social media tools like Back at You Media, which is, you know, automated an automated social media platform so they can be effective in their social media efforts, you know, marketing center. We had so many tools that realtors could take advantage of specifically during these challenging times. It's just a lot of them didn't know really how to use them. So it's really providing them that training that they can take at any time. So now that they're busy, you know, that's fine, you know, get out there and, and, and make your calls and sell homes. That's what we want, you know, them to do. But when they do have some downtime, you know, they can go back and they can learn a new skill. So depending on what happens in the future, as you say, it's so uncertain that they can you know, adapt and they can have the confidence that they can get through this no matter how long this takes. Um, but one of the great things that we, just going back to your question, one of the great things that, you know, we offer is a global referral, a, a global national referral, you know, system. Um, so we are in, you know, Century 21 is in 84 countries. We have 147,000 system members and there's a whole bunch of opportunity for them to, you know, to refer each other. But in Canada, you know, we want to make sure that people are still having an opportunity to build the referral network. So we are having what we're calling a Thanksgiving mixer. Um, and we're going to have that this coming Thursday, October 8th. And this really is a networking opportunity for a, our agents. So, you know, because we don't have a chance to be face to face this year, we still wanted them to get to know each other and build the referral network. So we got like music and prizes and networking and we're using a real cool technology platform um, to, to facilitate this for them. So that's just some of the new things we've been doing. We continue to come out with, you know, new and exciting things. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really, you know, so challenging so many ways, but so exciting in other ways. Oh, that's really exciting. Um, so you're making the most of it, right? And being, a, being creative, adapting, and that's the key. Uh, you know, there was a, a book out there once, uh, I read, uh, who moved my cheese, I think it was called. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, again, w you know, human beings are, are, are creatures of habit. And so habits have been disrupted uh, during this time. So, you know, some of those key buzzwords you hear about is, 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 is adapting and change and disruption or, um, and so uh, training and, and helping agents, giving them the tools and resources, um, you know, kudos, kudos to you um, and Century 21 Canada. What was the name of that, uh, that uh, website that agents that aren't within Century 21, but can watch that again? I just want to Yep, no, no problem. So it's campus21.tv. So if you go to campus21.tv, just put that in your URL, um, you can see the on demand, which again, it's exclusive for Century 21ers. So you need a password and a login information there. But if you if you actually click on the watch live button, you can actually watch the weekly webinars there. And when you come to that landing page, it'll show up who's next, coming up next in the time. And then underneath, we do have select webinars that people can stream on demand, demand even though it's a live platform. And that is open to the industry. So I encourage everyone, if they're wanting to learn new things, we're particularly excited about you know our guest this Monday because again, she's an international speaker and she's like a social media consultant and we're always interested in learning some new tips on social media um, and i think you know a lot of times we're just always so generic with our content right we might change up the wording a little or not post something on linkedin because it's more of a facebook or instagram post um, but she's really going to talk about the various generations that there are and how to adapt your content to be relevant for that particular generation so i'm really excited to, to hear yeah. from her 
Yeah, that's that's a great topic, man. You 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 know, to help agents and help any people that uh, want to communicate dialogue better, no matter what their age, their sex, you know, their generation. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there from personality types, right? From Disc and Myers Briggs, Colby, uh, to uh, you know, various things. So I'm, I'm a big believer in that. So we might have to tune in Monday. Check it out, guys. Campus, okay, campus21.tv, campus21.tv. Well, um, if somebody would like to find out more about Century 21 Canada, is that where they should go to? Does that, what's the best website to find out more? I'm an agent. I want to hear more about Century 21. Where should they go? Yeah, if you want to go to campus21.tv, that takes you to a page to our career website. So you can go to either go to that or you can go to century21careers.ca. Um, it talks about, again, all the technology we provide our agents, you know, all the training, the global referral network, all the marketing, the great brand, which, of course, we have a new revitalized brand. Um, we really are very agent centric at Century 21. Uh, we say that because we provide our agents everything they need to be successful. And it's all integrated. You know, a lot of times you'll you'll join a brokerage and you know you might get some core stuff but you might have to pay extra for a website or a crm or or some other things and then you have to figure out how they all work together we provide everything <laughs> we we basically provide a you know a turnkey solution to to realtors so i think that that you know whether you're experienced realtor or whether you're a new realtor it's just great and again i cannot stress the culture at Century 21, people are so supportive, you know, even in their brokerage or even down the streets, like sometimes it becomes a very competitive um, market and industry. And with the Century 21 culture, again, I know it sounds funny to say that we're all like family, but we truly are like family. You know, it's, again, it's been five years that I've, I've joined this brand and I feel that gold runs through my veins. That's how powerful That's the awesome. culture is in this organization. That's great. That's great. Well, you've been a plethora of in information. Sorry for the technology snafus we had, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier. And, um, you know, I, I, I greatly appreciate it. So let, let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. You've been a, a great help to our audience, uh, giving us some great ideas and let us know what's happening in Canada as well as Century 21. Uh, again, folks, don't forget you can watch a replay of this or uh, previous uh, episodes or future episodes on our YouTube channel, Marketing Luxury Group. Marketing Luxury Group, we have a Luxury Lunch and Learn channel. And uh, many of these interviews we also put as a, a podcast. Uh, we are, I think, on a podcast 108. You can go to luxurylistingpodcast.com or go to Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes. Uh, my name is Michael Ofito. You guys have been great. I appreciate it. And uh, go make it a great day and, and raise the bar in real estate and go make somebody's day. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.